seen it on the TV, you've seen it on the news, you've heard it in society, you've heard it from so many different people. Video games are addictive. They're the evil, the root of all bad in society right now. Um, that's what I hear, that's what I see. So today what I'm gonna do is I wanna talk about whether video games are addictive or not, what some of the research says, and what all of this means. Okay, so what I did to start my journey of learning about video game addiction is I started to realize, well, you know, we've been, I always hear that we're like addicted to media in general, and it, like it happened with television and newspapers. So I went back like as far as I could, which really gets me to books. And what I found out is that Society used to be very, very concerned when we started writing books for entertainment, like not just like scientific books, that people were kind of losing their minds about these books for entertainment. It was like people could not do this. Let me read you a little paragraph here. Concerns about reading addiction were their highest in the 1700s with the rise of the entertainment novel. There were fears that society would go rack and ruin. Um, people would neglect their work. People would be living in fantasy worlds. Um, people will be doing all kinds of bad things. Everyone would become socially isolated and no one would get anything done. Um, in fact, people were so against it that when people were reading for like the noble pursuit of reading for spiritual or science um, was being degraded as something that was evil. Does this sound familiar? Does this sound like those articles you're reading in the news or seeing on the news? Does this sound like that same kind of thing that gaming is bad and the cause of all ills in society? When I read this paragraph, I was like, oh my God, you just described what I hear about gaming all the time. So I started to think, well, maybe gaming isn't so bad, but you know what? We got to really see what the research says and like, what, what is addiction? And like, I started to learn about like the psychology stuff and like stuff that like, like what is addiction and what does that mean? Um, and things like that. And I got really interesting when I started to see. So the first thing, the first surprising thing when I started to learn about addiction was A, like reading used to be said as like, reading addiction is a real thing. Um, newspaper, radio, TV, and then like internet, gaming, and soon to be virtual reality, all, tons of places say they're addicting then i started to learn like food's addicting there's like something called food addiction and like work is addicting like there's something called work addiction and then like all hobbies can be addicting and like exercise can be addicting and running is addicting and biking is and i started to be like okay so basically what you're telling me is that every single thing in the world is addicting <laughs> <laughs> and it can be addicting. And if someone has an addictive personality, they're addicted to it. So no kidding, gaming's addic addicting. Imagine like the headline, like everything's addicting. Gaming is addicting just like everything else. Just like the water you drink. Because people can be addicted to drinking too much water. Um, that doesn't really make a good headline and sell a lot of like, you know, advertisements and stuff like that, which is probably why you're not seeing it. But... I still wanted to go in. I still wanted to see what that research really said about game addiction. Okay, so here's what I found. Um, basically, when I, so I saw like World Health Organization is listed gaming as an addiction, but it's very like debated among psychologists. Um, but when I started to look at some percentages, I couldn't find like the actual study World Health Organization used. And I searched a lot. I just couldn't find their study. I did see some numbers saying they cited like three to 4% of people were addicted to games, but I couldn't find the source of that. So I don't want to quote that number. So I started looking in like other research out there, other peer reviewed journals and see what I could really find about gaming addiction. And basically what I found is somewhere between like five to seven or five to 8% of people that play video games can potentially be addicted to them. But then when I started looking at like food addiction, gambling addiction, running addiction, their numbers were all over the place. Like some were like, 1% of people are addicted to food. Then another study would be like 12% of people are addicted to food. And then I'll see a study like 25% of people who run are addicted to running. And I'm like, okay, these numbers are all over the place with all these different items. So essentially what I came down to again is that there's a percentage of the population that's addicted to things and whatever they're doing, they're gonna happen to be addicted to it. So I kind of came to that conclusion with gaming. I couldn't find like anything any real like, I mean, you go to like a gaming addiction website and they'll be like, 
87% of the population plays video games. But like, numbers like that tell you nothing about addiction whatsoever. I can tell you this, there's something called food addiction, and 100% of the population is eating food. So like, when you start telling me like odd numbers like that, it doesn't mean anything. When you're like, 87% of the people aren't, don't just have play video games, they play them every single day. And I can be like, 100% of the people that eat food also eat food every single day. It's like, those statistics don't tell me about addiction. People are using numbers and skewing numbers to come up with some kind of conclusion that the numbers don't necessarily support. So you have to take those with a huge grain of salt. Um, so the video game numbers show that gaming is addicted. It seems like somewhere like that 5 to 7%, maybe 5 to 8%. Um, and that seemed to be in the ballpark of every other thing in the world. All the other research I can find about everything else. So are video games addictive? Yes. But put that in the context that so is everything else and it's a little less meaningful. Um, so I, I don't think after reading the research that I did fine reading what we used to think about reading addiction come on i mean that's where we are in society for some reason there's this moral obligation to want to blame games for all kinds of things even though research doesn't necessarily support it thank you very much